in today's virtual class, we're going to learn how to make those worry dolls that I was talking about. All right, so uh, you may see that uh, they look really cute and fun, and I'm going to teach you how to make them. So what you're going to need are some materials. Uh, first, we're going to start off with some craft sticks, also known as pipe cleaners. So if you have some pipe cleaners at home, these are a great thing that you can find at the dollar store at Walmart. Again, pipe cleaners um, are wires that have fuzzy little fur on them uh, that makes them really fun and easy to use. You're also going to need some yarn, all right? You may have some yarn there at the house, uh, some string. I have two different colors here. We're gonna make a husky themed worry doll. Uh, and finally, you need some buttons, all right? This button here uh, was from an old jacket that I didn't need anymore, so I cut off the buttons. Ask your parents permission. This button right here? Oh, okay, is it on? Is, is it on? Oh, hi, hi boys and girls. My name is Bean Bone, and I'm a worry doll. Today, Mr. Ramirez is gonna teach you how to make one of me. As you can tell, I am very, very cute. I'm a worry doll that can be used to play with, or if you want, you can also tell me your worries. Tell me about those things inside that make you feel kind of scared and worried. Sometimes it feels really good to talk about those feelings, and so a worry doll is great for that. All right, you guys, again, my name is Bean Bon, and this is my brother. My brother is wearing a shirt and pants. Maybe you just want to wear a shirt like me. That's okay, and we have awesome hair too. You can make hairs just like ours, all right? So Mr. Ramirez, take it away. Aw, thanks, Pipon and Mike. Uh, that's right, guys, today we're going to be making a worry doll, and here's what we need. We're gonna start with a worry doll craft stick, okay? Also known as a pipe cleaner. Uh, a pipe cleaner is bendy wire that has fur on it. This is a really puffy jumbo one. Some of the ones you'll see at the store are a lot smaller and that's okay. Uh, those look really cute too. So we're going to start by bending our pipe cleaner in half. Okay, remember what the word half means? It means that you take something and you make it a part of what it was before. So now we open it, I have two halves right here, okay? So right here we have half of our pipe cleaner. I'm going to grab the top right here, and I'm going to twist it around like this. So now I have the beginnings of my worry doll. All right, the little twist right here that you can't see because it's so fuzzy, but this is gonna be our head, and these are our arms. All right, do that first. Next up, we're going to need a second pipe cleaner, which we're also going to bend in half. So I'm going to meet the two bottom parts together and tighten it up to make it into a half again. All right. This is a whole pipe cleaner, and when I bend it in half, I'm making it into half of its size. Okay. So here we have, again, open it up two halves, all right? What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get the head and arm part and I'm now going to make the torso and legs. So what I do is I put the head down this way and place the V of the darker half like this, okay? And so now it's going to start to take its shape. I'm going to twist the leg part like this and this and this and this and open up the legs, all right? So now we have our body of the worry doll, okay? Arms, torso, legs, and head, okay? Very good, pretty simple. Working our way around to check it out, all right? Just a little bit of twisting and bending to make our worry doll, all right? Good job. So at this point, you got a pretty cool looking doll as it is. If you wanted to stop there, that's fine too. Uh, but we're gonna keep going, we're gonna put on some clothes. And so this is a Herrera Husky worry doll. Uh, we're gonna put on a purple uh, Husky shirt. Here I have my spool of purple string or yarn. And I'm going to start by tying the string first around his neck, okay? So I bring it boop, around the neck, okay? And I'm gonna tie it in a knot, okay? Make a little knot right here, okay? 
this point, bring it in, tighten it up, bring in a second knot to finish it out, make sure it stays put. All right, and then this little tail part here, I'm gonna just bring it down towards his belt area, and I'm gonna keep it right there as I get this long part that's attached to the spool right here, I'm going to use that to start wrapping the, uh, the shirt, okay? So how does that work? I come in here and I just start bringing it around once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, and you're starting to see that it's starting to take a little bit of a shape there, right? All right, now his neck is starting to form, kind of filling in the blank spots there, okay? All right, and then at this point here, when I see that he has a neck, I'm going to start going around his arm. And so as I go around his arm, each time I go around and around and around, it's starting to kind of hide the little hairs. I'm gonna go all the way up to his wrist to leave a little bit of a hand. Right about there is where I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go right, right around up. Okay, and as I go around the, the hairs, it starts to hide them a little bit, okay? So this string here is gonna take a little bit more time since it's a little bit thinner than yarn and I'm gonna have to hide all of those little hairs, all right? Coming around and 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 around, all right? So now I'm starting to have a little bit more of an of an arm shape. We can come by later and shave all those little extra hairs off. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to come back up, and then I'm going to cross over, turn it around, and start the other arm, and around and around and around and around. And again, as you wrap around, you want to keep the string kind of close together. The closer it is, the more it starts to hide the. Um, the, the little fur of the pipe cleaner. Remember, this pipe cleaner is extra fluffy, and so it'll be extra work to get it to sort of fill in um, all that fur. So I'm coming around and 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 around. A few more times around, hiding this, the furry stuff. Coming back around. All right. And then now... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross across his chest. I'm gonna go under this side of his chest and cross again, and then cross over, and then again over. And I'm gonna start making his shirt start to close in a little bit. So I'm gonna go around his waist, keeping that tail part down right here. And I'm gonna go now to start working his torso. I'm gonna go down all the way to his belt, and then I'm gonna come back up again, okay? Okay, so after several rounds of wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, like see this little piece of little loose green here, here, I'm going to kind of come in again and keep wrapping it around. That way it starts to hide those little extra pieces of hair. And you just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping like that. All right, and so as I sort of complete look around, I notice there's little bitty spaces there. That's okay, uh, that if you don't get it all completely covered up, but you just do your best. And then when you're pretty much about done, you cut your string. And then you begin to sort of find a place to sort of tie it off on. And what you're gonna do here is you're just gonna tie a knot around, oop, I need a little longer piece, tie a knot around your fingers, and then you're going to go underneath with the string, and then you pull it through the bottom here, so just find a way to wrap it, like you're tying a knot around there, and then just bring it in tight and close, and do that again, just bring it around and tie it nice and close, and then bring it around, tie it nice and close. And after you do it about three or four times, there's a knot starting to form underneath the string. Okay. Right there, 
At this point, the little tail is no longer needed, so we cut it off, not too close to the knot, because that way we make sure that it doesn't get lost. And then now, it's time to make some pants. And with a different color for the pants, I chose yellow gold as our school colors are purple and gold. And so now, we're going to start the pants. I'm gonna go a little bit right here about his waistline. Uh, and to start the pant, again, I just do a simple knot. Can you see? I'm going to go under and through. I'm going to pull it closed. And I'm going to do it again. Boop. And then one more time. Boop. And then I'm going to let the tail, this part right here, hang down as I begin to wrap the yellow the same way. But now we're just going to go over and over. Notice as I go each time I try to keep the string close to the other string underneath it that way it fills in pretty quickly. Now it's easy to fill in this part here because it's just the string underneath it but when we get to the furry part that's when we have to work extra hard and go over and over and over and over and over again. So now we're going to do the first leg. I'm going to open it up wide a little bit and then I'm going to just start coming underneath and going around and 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 around. Leave a little bit of space for the foot and then I'm gonna come back and come back up around and 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 around. So basically I go up and then come back down to fill in the little furry parts, okay? So you see it's starting to, I start to look to see where the furry parts are and then I start pushing them up. That's my dog, Jerry, saying hello to somebody outside. <laughs> and then I'm going to keep going. And then I'm going to go to the other side, and then I'll come back around to the other leg. But this just sort of makes it a little bit faster and easier. But once you get the hang of it, you really get the hang of it. So maybe your first worry doll won't look exactly like the way you imagined or hope. But with practice, each time it gets better and better, okay? So I'm going to come back around grab this little tail here and then come to the other leg and come back up again all right so i'm going to keep going so i wrap and i wrap and i wrap and finally i begin to see it all filled in there okay so all the fur is taken out now our guy has a shirt and some pants and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut off this piece of string from the spool and then I'm going to do what I did earlier and basically go around my fingers and tie a knot so that it begins to go once. There we go. Go underneath. And you just pull. And then if you have something kind of sharp like this pair of scissors, you can push in that last piece of string underneath the other strings to hide it. I just push that little last piece of tail and I put it inside, okay? So now we have a fully clothed worry doll. Right, okay, and so for the final part, um, we're going to put a little face and the head on our worry doll, and so I chose two buttons. Uh, I'm gonna I think I'm going to choose this one because I like the design on it, but it has little little holes that are going to be the eyes uh, of our worry doll. And so I'm going to basically use a glue gun to glue it to this part of the doll right here. So that way it'll get kind of nice and, and attached to the neck. So I'm going to use a glue gun, which I have right here. Ask your parents to help you with this part right here because glue guns are really hot and they can burn your fingers. So if you've never used one before, ask your parent to show you how to use it, okay? So be extra careful. So I'm going to choose to uh, put the glue on the back part because it's different than this part right here. This is where the glue is going to go and that's going to attach to the body. So I'm going to put some glue right there. And now I'm going to glue it to the front part. I want this to be the front of my worry doll's head and body. And so I glue it, and squeeze it tight. And now my worry doll has a face.